So what is up everyone in today's video we're gonna be going over my review of Raven in the Redwoods Yes Raven in the Redwoods the DLC map that has took me forever to review and took me forever to blur But in my personal opinion this map is actually a decent map one because it's actually fun Two it's got more replayability than Spaceland did Don't tell them I said that. Okay. The reason I think it adds more replayability is because it for it challenges you to use different weapons, aka the melee weapons. Like it forces you to go to go and do challenges on your. It's like go and do melee challenge. The melee weapons, it's there. The melee weapons you just pick up. They don't cost anything. Just pick it up, take it, use it. Double pack punch because you can double pack punch in the map. Double pack punch in the map because they added it in due to well, what happened with space line. Space line didn't go down so well, but with people not buying, well. Not complete the easter egg just to get double pack punch so it's easier to do it. I hope they do this in future maps because in future maps it would be better if they implemented more double pack punch for like it's I'll, I'll say if you put it in in Raven in the Redwoods it should be there for all maps afterwards seeing as it makes sense that it would do that because you technically you can technically upgrade the machine in Raven in the Redwoods it should have upgrade, carried on upgraded from Zombies in Spaceland but this is another way of getting the double pack punch, so they should keep this in the map, so hope they do carry on doing that stuff. When it comes to replayability, the other thing I like is that when it comes to like getting a certain weapon, such as the buzz, you actually have to go through a process to get it. It is like when you get try and get the buzz unlocked for the first time to get the Vlad, the original version, the crossbow is that you have to go to Turtle Island, get the weenies and then go do this all these big steps like such as you go in red mode, you find the three deer heads, you hit them with hot dogs and you shoot them and pick up the symbols. That's good because that's making them just go our way. It's better than doing what we did for uh, Space Land when we had to literally go out weird, do these weird stuff just to get these weird paths. This is even weirder, but it, it's more understandable because you technically get high when you do this, so it's more understandable that you do that. Plus, it's not supposed to be a serious game, as what Infinity Awards Ross Lee said. And it's just supposed to be fun. This is some fun way and not the way Space Land did it. Cause Space Land did it, it was like you use a trap and you get a part of some weird reason and you put these stuff in your token machine and you get it somehow. That way doesn't as work as well as this way works because this way works. It, it's easier than doing it on Space Land because it isn't like time consuming. Because getting the kills to get for the boat, it doesn't take that long. Because I don't think it's even good. I think it's just shots fired off there because it was well, that's what it feels like. Because I feel like I shoot the same amount of shots each time, but there's different amounts of zombies there. So that's probably just because of this bit, like the room, me playing zombies. And I normally keep track of my bullets, and this is probably why. Because me keeping track of my bullets, this is where it's all probably coming from. I, the one thing I also like about the map is the memory chance. The memory chance are pretty cool because. They are things that you, they technically are little dog tags. When you can go in the multiplayer, you can get like little dog tags to hang off your guns. This is technically a way of them bringing it into the zombie mode, and I like the way they do this. I hope they bring this in future maps with different like objects and have different abilities. Especially because my favorite one to have on in the game is the dummy. Yes, the pacifier. Yes, I'm a baby. Fucking kill me. But the reason I really like having this pacifier on is because. When you get attacked, when you've got this pacifier on your gun, the zombies get that damage back that they hit you with. So it technically damages them back. And this is a great way of implementing the easiness of zombies in, like, the zombies in Infinite Warfare. It's a good way of implementing. And there's also different ways. There's one way you can run faster. There's one way you can run faster in war. So it takes away that realism, makes it more funky, and uh, has a little bit more fun with the mode. I really like this having like a little bit more fun with the mode because Black, Black Ops 3 and Treyarch's and like zombie mode in general <laughs> was like a big long thing that was super serious and probably just got complicated and it was just too serious especially in the end that was just really too serious and now we're getting this real stupid mode and it's actually pretty fun to have that having this really stupid like fun mode is actually pretty cool because we have got something that we can go back chill play just have a bit of fun with because the mode is actually fun itself especially if you know what you're doing it's really fun so you can just chill back and get some stuff especially when you get a pack bunch of weapons such as sandy balls oh god why sandy balls i'm still i'm still a bit um what sorry about that from why they call it sandy balls because it's not a real gun you should be calling sandy balls even though it's an 18 game, little kids do pick this game up, and some of these little kids are 
depending on the skill level, they could be good at zombies. Because anyone could be good at zombies if you put your mind to it. That's one of my personal opinions on zombies. I put my mind to it when I was younger, and then look where I am now. I can play zombies, and I can get to high rounds. So that's the way it works on that. Plus, to make this map unique, I really like that they actually got rid of the Stein pistol for a change and actually put it in the wheel. Because we had the Stein pistol in the wheel, like, like in like the Stein pistol ever in zombies being put into the mystery box or mystery wheel, whatever we got for at the time. It's really good to have that uniqueness within like the mode because it make it changes up, changing up and not giving us any melee, like 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 any weapons at all to start with. Even go like melee weapons was a big deal this time. Melee weapons was like officially of like weapons that you can actually pick up and not get all like wheels and shit. It was really good because it was the first time we could put the pack a bunch. Of, we could we could see that implement start coming in zombies of space time, but this is where the port pushed it to its full extent, and this is what I really really enjoy about the mod because this map is absolutely fun to play as as in like literally playing it with like friends and stuff. It, it wouldn't be an ex ex exceptional experience for the new stuff they bring in, especially because they're bringing stuff from the old stuff from zombies in space land. They're carrying it over. The wave and like and turrets and stuff, they brought that back, but in like a new way to make it like the nineties vibe because of the map because of the rave and the red was in nineties, so it's really good stuff. I just like it that they're carrying most stuff across through all, all these maps, and it's a pretty unique and un unique way of actually expanding this game, and it's really fun to play. So in my overall opinion, rave and the red is a really good map. Probably one, probably one of the best, probably probably gonna be one of the best DLC maps. Cause DLC one normally normally ends up being a really good DLC, except from Black Ops Two. Awful map. Terrible map. No one wants to play Die Rise. Just leave it at that. Yeah, so this is what is. It's a really fun game. I'll just make sure you guys remember to like, subscribe if you want more stuff like this in the future. In the future. And we'll be back soon with another video. Remember, as always, good bye.